so today is day 1 of uh, me listening to the new testament the time is about 5:33 with so much happening in life sometimes it feels like i wish i could have a reset button because we are children of god we have his very word when our heart is overwhelmed and the bible promises that we will have great peace when we love his word and nothing can cause us to stumble what i did this week is that i tried running to the bible which is the word of god because it is god's word which helps us in every situation i tried listening to the new testament in one week all we need for this is the u version app i preferred reading it from the kjv and i heard it at a speed of 1.5 here's the vlog for you hope you'll have some take away from it So today is day one of uh, me listening to the New Testament. The time is about five thirty-three. Okay, in the morning. I thought I want to do it in KJV, um, the Listener's Bible, in your version while he is reading. I will follow along. Uh, let's see how much I can listen to in uh, one hour because I have about time till say six thirty. so the time is 5:33 now so let's see how much i can do i listen to it on my ipad the gospel according to matthew chapter 1 the book of the generation of jesus christ the son of david the son of abraham abraham begat isaac and isaac begat jacob and jacob begat judas and his brethren and judas begat phares and zerah and tamar and phares begat esram and esram begat ram and ram begat minadab and minadab begat nasim nasim that sound and sound and echo okay the time is like in one hour i was able to listen to 16 chapters i just noted down um whatever i was listening to as i was following along and um, so today is monday and uh, i finished 16 chapters in the first one hour let me see how the day will move forward and uh, what i can do about it So I just dropped my kids to school, and now I have about twenty uh, to twenty-five minutes to listen because I'm driving. So I'll start listening from Matthew chapter seventeen. Let me see how much I can cover in about twenty uh, minutes, twenty-five minutes. I'll see you. Matthew seventeen. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. And answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles: one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son. Actually, it took me a longer time uh, to drive home, so because there was a lot of traffic. Uh, so i was able to listen to about eight chapters matthew chapter 18 really stood out because jesus talks about forgiveness i was feeling a little bitter about few things but uh, god again reminded me that i need to be forgiving because god he's a father who's forgiving and uh, jesus reminded us and taught us about forgiveness also uh, matthew chapter 23 stood out to me Also every time when Jesus said you hypocrites you hypocrites you hypocrites I want to study more about the characteristics of being a hypocrite and you know what makes me a hypocrite and uh, um, more into this word study I think this is the word I picked up this morning now we are at Matthew chapter 24 I will see when I will find time I will make time I will try to make time intentionally through the day and uh, try to listen again so while I start listening to chapter 25 i will see you all until then bye i'm just going to work now the time is uh, 
12 30 and uh, i'll get about 20 to 25 minutes to listen again so we'll pick up from where we've left well, let me get into the car and then we'll start listening i stopped at matthew 24 so i'll be picking it up from there matthew 25 matthew 25 then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom then five of them were wise and five were foolish they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh Go ye out to meet him. We just finished Matthew chapter 28. I just stopped by to tell that. Now I'll start listening to Mark and uh, let me see. I, I, I've i almost reached work. Let's see how much I can finish by the time I reach my workplace. So I've reached the workplace but uh, I'm in the middle of Mark chapter 2 but I don't want to uh, I mean continue it because I'll get late for work. So we are at Mark chapter 1. Technically we finished Mark chapter 1. So let's begin Mark chapter 2. Let me see when I can get time, most probably in the evening. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to listen to a couple of chapters more today. So, see you all again. I'm going for a walk now. The time is 5.21. I left it at Mark uh, chapter 1. Now I need to start again from Mark chapter 2. So I'll be listening. Let me see how much I can listen to in one hour, ideally, because my target is to finish Gospel according to Mark by today. So let me see what I can do in this one hour. Mark 2. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noised that he was in the house, and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him. The time now is 6.37, ideally. So I started at 5.27, right? Uh, one thing which struck me was the place where Jesus was talking to the Pharisees, stone which the builder has rejected has become the cornerstone. And the next following words are the words which say, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. So how do we use that on our wedding cards? I really need to go now and research. I mean, why do we even use that verse? I was able to listen to 43 chapters. Let me see how helpful this is to me and uh, what it does to my mind. I'm not going to listen to any more of the New Testament because I'll do my regular Bible study. Uh, I'm following the Bible in a year plan and then I have uh, stuff to do. So I'll get going with that. The time is uh, 5.43 a.m. Yeah. And um, I left it at Mark chapter 15. There's only one chapter left. Let me see how much I can finish today. Just like yesterday, I will be following along. Mark 16. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away. The time was 6.55 a.m., about one hour. 13th chapter that we just finished, Luke 13, um, plus one from Mark, the previous days. That is about 14 chapters I was able to listen to. I don't know when I'm going to find time because today I'm not going to drop my kids. Uh, I got an interview to do, so let me see how I can full in time but I'll make sure I'll finish as much as possible today. I just got some time. I will listen to it devotionally. I really want God to speak to me through his word. And he said also unto his disciples, there was a certain rich man which had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. And he called him and said unto him, how is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship for thou mayest be no longer steward. So I'm uh, done with listening to five chapters we started at luke 16 and now it is luke 20 uh, i've reached work so i'll stop it here i will continue it later and when i continue it i'll see you again bye i'm just done with uh, some work that i had so uh, we've left it at luke chapter 20 so now the time is 140 so i'll be having like 
like uh, maybe 40 minutes it's a 40 minute drive home let's continue from Luke chapter 20 and uh, I'll be driving and listening to the audio Bible Luke 21 and he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury and he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites and he said of the truth I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all for all these have of them so I just reached home and this marks the end of John chapter 4 and the thing that stood out to me was Jesus' emphasis on being born again to Nicodemus. I'm really thankful to God that he has truly saved me and I am born again. So if there's anybody who does not understand what being born again is, even if you're a pastor, I don't hesitate to say that. Even if you're a pastor, even if you're a pastor's daughter, even if you're a worship leader, whoever you might be, let us not deceive ourselves into thinking that we are saved if we are unsure about it. Let us be very sure because we can't just leave our souls at stake. We are at John chapter 5. Let's see how much we can do through the day. Now the time is 4.35 and uh, I just dropped my kids at football. So I have like an hour or so to listen to the audio. So we left it at John chapter 4. So I'll pick it up from there. And if I try to get some shots of the sunset, I'll try to do that. So, yeah, that's about it. So, I'll see you all again. John 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind, halt, withered. 5.33 and I'm done with um, John chapter 18. The gospel according to John is really close to my heart. Till now it was really helpful. This is a really uh, good experiment that is happening and God is really speaking to me continuously because I'm not giving my mind any break to think and whenever I'm free I'm just pulling it out and uh, starting the audio. So one way you can deal with anxiety, stress and your mind is not wavering all over the place, no distractions. Though I'm irritated about few things, when I come back and I'm like, oh, okay, I decided that I need to listen to the Bible, everything is vanishing. So, yeah, this is a good experience for me and uh, I will see you all when I start John chapter 19. 10.47, we'll wrap up for the day. Let's see tomorrow what we have in store and how God is going to speak to us. Listening to the New Testament in a week is really helping me because it is pushing my brain to the limits, helping me focus, focus because my mind is all over the place. This marks the end of day two. So until then, I'm sleeping. Good night. You will be watching this video days later. So it doesn't matter. So that's it for today. Day two, we are ending. Good morning people, so the time now is ideally 5.49 a.m. Yesterday we left it at John chapter 18, so we need to continue from John chapter 19. I have time till uh, an hour, so I'll be following along like every day. I'm noting down uh, the verses which stand out because morning I get to do this. I get to follow along, pay attention and note down so i'll be writing the verses as we listen so let's begin ask god to help us understand his word then pilate therefore took jesus and scourged him and the soldiers plucked the crown of thorns and put it on his head and they put on him a purple robe, robe and said hail king of the jews and they smote him with their hands pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them behold i bring him forth to you that ye may know that i find no fault in him 651 we have reached acts chapter 13 I'm starting to listen from Acts chapter 14 now. I will get about 20 to 25 minutes. So let me see how much I can finish and uh, I will see you all again. Acts 14. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also the Greeks, believed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected against the brethren. We are at Acts chapter 22. I'll be continuing and listening. Uh, from Acts chapter 23 and I will see you all again and let me see when I can find time I didn't find time I mean like I was going all over the place today and got stuff to do so I couldn't you know concentrate on listening intentionally 
so i thought i'll come back home and uh, i'll continue it i don't want to deviate i don't want to sleep fall asleep while he's reading i want to follow along and i want god to speak to my heart and minister to my heart because right now i actually feel very low so i pray that god will speak to me yes he will i know that he will speak to me through his word acts 23 and paul earnestly beholding the council said men and brethren i have lived in all good conscience before god until this day and the high priest Ananias commanded them that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou whited wall, for sittest thou? And the night following the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. This part is a wonderful part, a verse that always speaks to me. And uh, I'm already encouraged by it because this verse is very close to my heart. It says, At the night following the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul. I mean, those words are like so encouraging. I'm already encouraged by God's word. So the book of Acts is done. I'm moving towards Romans. Let me see how much I can do. A letter to the Romans, chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So the time is... 10.42 and we've reached Romans chapter 7. So this is the end of today's listening. Tomorrow I will start listening from chapter 8 and I will see you all then. Bye-bye. Good morning people. Today is uh, 5.52 am we thank god for another day i'm going to listen from romans chapter 8 romans 8 there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh god sending his own the time is seven o'clock we are done with one corinthians I will see when I can resume back into listening, starting from 2 Corinthians. So I will see you all then. Bye-bye. So the time now is 9.58. I thought before recording anything, actually I need to do my podcast. But before recording anything, I thought I need to sit down with God's word. And uh, 2 Corinthians. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. And Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God which is at Corinth with all the saints which are in all care. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father. So the time is about 10.29 uh, and uh, we finished listening to 2 Corinthians. I'll move to the next book now, which is Galatians. So I'm just done with uh, the, book, uh, the letter to Galatians and uh, the time is 10.52, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is day four, this is the end of day four. I'll, we will, let's start day five tomorrow in the morning. So, bye-bye. Good morning. So, the time now is 6 o'clock. I'm beginning to listen from the book of Ephesians. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1. Paul. An apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you, and peace, from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. So this is the end of... Uh... To Timothy and there are so many verses that you know I've taken down so we need to listen to Titus um, as the day progresses I will get back to you again when I start listening to Titus so bye bye the time now is 8 39 a.m. if my kids were listening to this uh, album it is called theology by sovereign grace music and Bob Coughlin so if any of you have kids, I mean, this is a very good recommendation. It's so important for us to build our children on the foundation of God's word and his truth because they need to discern and see what is right and what is wrong when they grow up and they have to choose stuff for themselves. 
Titus has only three chapters. Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 1, Paul, a servant of God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. Hey, so we are just done with the Hebrews chapter 9, and the time is 9.10. Especially the sermons which uh, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones gave on the book of Hebrews. Like they are really excellent resources. I am ending it at Hebrews chapter 9. Let me see how uh, the day will progress. I will see you all again. Hey there again. Uh, I am at the football ground and the time is 5.15 now. Morning we stopped at uh, Hebrews chapter 9. So I will continue listening from Hebrews chapter 10. I will see how much I can cover now. And uh, hopefully... I'll be able to finish the book of Hebrews. I pray that God will speak to me this evening as I listen to his word. I will see you all again uh, once the book is done. Hey, so the time now is 6.19. I'm done with Hebrews and James 1 and 2 Peter. Now I'm in 1 John uh, chapter 3. I will continue listening because my kids didn't come still. So yeah, let me continue. Hey, so the time is... Uh, 6.33 now and uh, I'm just done with uh, John 1, 2 and 3. So uh, we are left with Jude and Revelation and uh, this is really so wonderful that God has spoken to me through his word all through the day. It reminds me again that if I do not have love in my heart and claim to do things for God, exploits for God, but I do not have love in my heart, it is all in vain. It also reminds me of the podcast that I did the other day that the one most excellent virtue that we are missing is love. So this is again a reminder for me also to stand firm. John also called us to stand firm on the truth of the Gospels. And um, yes, that's what I've learned today. And I will see you all again when I start listening to Jude and Revelation. Bye-bye. So today is the last day and uh, uh, yesterday we stopped it at uh, 3rd John. So today we are going to continue it from uh, Jude and we just ha are left with Jude and Revelation. Today is Saturday and the last day of our challenge. So I'll start listening to it now and uh, I will get back to you once I'm done listening to the letter of Jude and uh, the book of Revelation. Okay, I'll see you all there. servant of Jesus Christ, and brother James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, and called, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. He sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, and I saw a new heaven, and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hello everyone. So this marks the end of the New Testament challenge. The end from Matthew to Revelation in one week. Bye-bye. Most of you must be thinking, what does doing it so fast do to you? Do you even learn anything? Yes, we are not supposed to do a regular Bible study like this. But personally, this was beneficial for me. Reason number one, because I struggle with concentration, I tend to be distracted very easily. Listening to the Bible at this speed pushed my mind to focus and my ears to pay attention. Reason number two. Listening the entire New Testament at once sometimes helps us get the bigger picture right from the birth, ministry, crucifixion of Jesus and his second coming also to understand where the church comes into picture and how things progress. Reason number three, it helped me understand that using my time to do something is completely dependent on me, on how I organize my time so no time can never be an excuse for anything. Let me know if you try doing this and write back when you're done. Would love to hear from you.